Hey folks, welcome to Athens Treasures Live. We're your hosts, I'm Stephen Sherlin. And I'm Scott Bridwell. And we're here today with a new Athens treasure that we think you're going to enjoy. And Scott's going to introduce us to Bill McDonald, one of our local artists. And we think you're going to enjoy this quite well. Well, and this is actually a two for one Athens treasure. Not only are you going to meet Bill McDonald, you're going to be introduced to Fuller's Frank to Fuller's Frame Shop, which is a great treasure here in Athens as well. So let's go on inside and see if we can meet Bill. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're inside Fuller's, <clears throat> and I've got Bill here. Uh, Bill, I met Bill a few years ago, and I've just grown to enjoy your presence, Bill. Grown to just enjoy getting to know you. Thank you very much. And thank you for doing this video. Hey, I'm honored, man. I'm honored. It's a great thing. It is. So Bill's a local artist here in town, and, and right here behind me, when you come into Fuller's, right there on the left is a lot of his paintings. One of the things that Bill does and Fuller's does with him is you don't just have to buy a print, you can buy a coffee cup, you can That's buy a right. Christmas ornament. What else you got? Well, man, we got magnets, we got uh, pillows, we got uh, ornaments, we've got any basically anything that a person could imagine we could print it on you right. know, here at Fuller's. Uh, they got an awesome print shop here, Lisa Bell and the girls, they're just wonderful. And they do. I actually bring some of my prints down here uh, and have them done as well. How long have you been painting, Bill? Oh, wow. <laughs> I've probably been painting for about 35, 36 years now. Yeah? A uh, long time, yeah. Uh, so is there a, is there like a particular artist or anybody like that that influenced you or did you just get into it? Well, you know, uh, I think through the years there have been, uh, been a few that stood out that really inspired me. Uh, one was Arnold McDowell. He was very popular in this area. Uh, he was? But, yeah. And um, and he was, you know, a good guy. We became friends. Oh, and, good uh, for you. Yeah, I enjoyed it. But, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, oh, gosh, there's been several. And then, uh, the names just sort of, uh, you know, leave my mind right now. But I was always inspired by um, um, uh, Arnold McDowell and the work that he did. And uh, I just loved it. And I thought, man, I can do that, you know. Right. Maybe I can't do it as good as him, but I want to. I want to put forth an effort and try. You bring something up because, like, What's when I, I do my paintings, people are like, Well, I wish I could paint. And I just always tell them, You can. Yeah, absolutely, you can. Uh, most people say they don't have talent. Right. You know, most people will. I don't not. have talent. Do you have talent? Uh, <laughs> no, but I did take the time to practice right. and become good at something. So, and that's what it takes is dedication, you know, and uh, the, the want to. You know to do something but most people won't get off their butt long enough to try to find out what it is well that brings up another question i got what what drives you to paint what inspires you what what's what that thing that says okay i'm going to get off my butt as you say yeah, exactly and i'm going to grab a paintbrush i'm going to paint what is that well you know i a couple different things actually i have a love for this area i was born and raised here in athens i love our local history i love our um, the old landmarks in this area, um, these things are fading away quickly. You know, as you know, I mean, they're erasing our history in the United States anyway. Uh, I actually try to preserve our local history through my paintings. Yeah. Well, I, I heard a photographer the other day, uh, he was talking about that the whole purpose of his photography is just to stop time. And that's yes. one thing I noticed about some of your paintings yes. is, like you said, you grab these old landmarks that are going to go away, whether it's through development or just time, but you grab them and you just stop that moment in time so that people can have that bit of nostalgia. Exactly. I want people to remember the good days, yes. you know, back in time. I never paint anything present. Everything is always in the, say, the 40s, the 50s, you know. And don't get me wrong, I understand times were hard back then, but it was a different kind of time then. Family values meant something. And uh, way back before electronics that came in and separated out, you know, the family. Right. Uh, the family table was not in existence anymore. And, you know, I want my daughter, who's 30 years old, um, and my grand kids you know i want them to know that there used to be good days 
you know, it was not all political and, and uh, you know, the mess that it is now. You know? Right. So if you're looking like for some landmarks uh, around in and around McMinn County, mm -hmm. come down here. He's got some, uh, this old gas station here. Uh, yeah. Which is the one I was thinking about earlier? Oh. This one here, that, is that on the Hawassi? That is on the Hawassi. That's the Hawassi Union Baptist Church. And um, it, it still stands. It's on the historical register. And when I painted that, you know, it had been painted a couple different times by several artists. Always done from the front. Right. You know, it's more uh, recognizable from the front. But I wanted to show a baptism scene. I had never painted a baptism. And... Uh, so I went down and uh, I took a lot of pictures, of course, uh, envisioned myself out in the middle of the river looking back. And uh, that's the way we did it. But that's an awesome, awesome place. Well, that was not only uh, nostalgic because it's got that, that structure there, but yeah. it's nostalgic that it, it harkens back to a time when the, we did do the River Baptist. Exactly and right. And, and still people to this day, uh, you know, I got this show coming up this weekend. And I promise you, people will tell me that they were baptized there or their grandfather was a pastor there during a period of time. There are so many stories that always come out about these old buildings. Well, you bring up another point. The show this weekend, so you got yes. a couple of shows coming up, mainly festivals. I've Where got, can people come meet you at? Well, actually, I've only got one show. Okay. Okay, I, uh, I'm having some heart issues right now, and I had to cancel out two shows because uh, I just couldn't couldn't do them. Uh, but I have dedicated myself to the Etowah Fall Festival, which is this weekend. Uh, it's October uh, 2nd and 3rd uh, in Etowah, of course. And uh, I will be there from 10 a.m. to 5 and from 1 to 5 on Sunday. It's a two-day deal, and uh, I hope everybody comes out. You know, we um, it's an awesome show, and this is my one shot, you know, for the rest of the year. And uh, so I need as many people to come as possible. Well, uh, I love checking out local artists, but I'll, well, not just local art. I just yeah. love checking out artwork. Right. Uh, but when I get a chance to meet an artist, so if you're like that, you not only can come down here and pick something up, maybe a Christmas ornament or a gift, or just something for your own collection, get a chance to meet Bill as well and talk to him. I love it. Uh, do, have you ever done portraits? You know, I cannot paint people to save myself. I soul. can't either. <laughs> and, I, and I've tried, and, uh, you know, it's it's just horrible. And so, you know, we all have a, um, a comfort zone, and uh, I try to get out of it and do these, but, you know, I'm so bad, I just go right back to the landscapes, and I stick to that. Well, and that's me. I've tried the, I've tried some portraits, and, and it, it's just like you said earlier, I guess yeah. if I practice at it more, I get better at it. You know, it. and I would too, I suppose, but... Um, but that's your comfort. For right now, this is what I do. You know, uh, I'm always wanting to expand off into different things, and and I'm fixing to do some of that. You know, next year I hope to have some uh, um, different type of art out. You know, right now I'm working on uh, trying to become more marketable up around the Gatlinburg area. Right. So I'm changing up my subject matter just a little bit. Uh, my latest painting is called Moonlight Ride, which uh, features the uh, um, Missionary Baptist Church mm -hmm. in Cades Cove and it's uh, so far I'm getting a great response on it good good so now I you also do commissions I do so if you guys have something special that you want to be done I know he did one of a family barn yeah uh, when I is have missed yeah is that the one I'm thinking about that is it's called dogwood morning um, that that was a great little piece but I do commissions as I have time. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, I'm not taking on any commissions because I'm so booked up with, you know, my own work that I've got to get out and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, get these things uh, get these things done. Well, uh, Bill, thank you for taking time to oh, thank uh, you. meet I with me today. It. He will be at the Edible Arts Festival. It's yes. October second and third. Second and third. It's down at the depot. If you're on 411 and you miss it. I can't help you. Uh, exactly. <laughs> you, you will not miss it. I promise you that. Right. Come well, out and see me. Yeah, come out and see me. All right, we'll see you guys later. Tell them bye, Phil. Hey, bye. See ya.
that's the end of another episode of Athens Treasures Live. We appreciate you being with us today for this episode, and thanks, Scott, for hosting it for us. And, Scott, you have some closing comments. Well, I've always enjoyed Bill, and if you or looking for some pieces that maybe you want to gift somebody who no longer lives here but you want to send them a gift he's got some great pieces of our local area uh, and Fuller's Frame Shop has it and I would also highly encourage you and remind you make it to Etowah this weekend not only is he going to be there there's going to be other artisans and other crafts people there but you'll get a chance to meet him and see some of these paintings in person that's true hope you can make it and until the next time enjoy the treasures of Athens see you guys later Thank you.